Imagine if like everyone suddenly died right now as they're seeing this video like that I would be the last person you see. I really do not know why I said that. I, I Oh my gosh. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be doing a little something different. We're gonna switch it around. Today we're doing Zodat Signs if they were your friends or Zodat Signs as friends. Whatever this thumbnail is gonna be named, I don't know. Um, before we dive in, I just wanna say that I am grateful for everyone who just comes to my videos and say hi to me and like just enjoy my content. I know I don't post that much on TikTok anymore, but I'm gonna start posting more on TikTok. It's just very hard when you're creating all this YouTube content. I might take a break from YouTube. Maybe not though, probably not because I really love it. But I gotta tell you something. So yesterday, I went to the mall with my friend, right? Tell me why my friend drops me off on the side of the road and this hillbilly is trying to sell me bloody headphones. Like the headphones have blood on it. And he's literally like, hey kid, you want these headphones? And I'm like, no sir, I really don't want them headphones. Is that blood on it? And he's just like, yeah, there is blood on it. And the sad thing is, um, that happened before. Someone tried to sell me bloody headphones. Like, I swear to you guys, like, my life should be a reality TV show because, like, I just, there's so many story times. If you guys want story time videos, let me know because I will tell a good story time. Let me tell you. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started in the video. The first two Zodiac signs, Gemini and Taurus. When I think of Gemini and Taurus, I always think of them as as the friend that's always hungry. Like they know the good foods, they know the places to go, they know the vibes, they just have very good taste and food. And this is exactly how I think they act. Oh my gosh, hey, I haven't seen you in so long. How have you been? I don't know. I've just been, you know, doing what I do, you know. It's mm. not it's been kind of mm -hmm. rough, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm just vibing, no. you know. Yeah. I'm just glad you're mm. here. You seem right a little now. sad today. You know what? I think I know how, what can fix that. So listen to me. If you're sad about anything, just get some food. I know this really good place that has really good food and it, it always helps me out. Like if your mom doesn't love you, just eat some food. If your boyfriend runs you over with his car, just eat some food. If a dragon comes out of sky and destroys half the population and an apocalypse happens and the world is literally burning and all the animals in the world are dying just eat some food i promise you it'll solve every problem you're right i am sad i just don't feel like my boyfriend loves me anymore and yeah it's just mm, hard on you don't me. think your boyfriend doesn't love you anymore but you know what will love you food food will always be there for you hun all you need to do is strive for money so you can get food. Yeah, but I just don't think that food will solve this problem right now. You don't think food will solve all your problems? Sis, what the heck is wrong with you? What tree did you fall from? Listen, sis, I know this good place. They have some amazing food. I always still, I mean, I always buy the food there. I, I don't steal food. Yeah, so you should probably pack your stuff up. I'm about to make you so happy. Your stomach is gonna be so happy. Let's go right now. That is exactly how I think those two Zodiac signs act. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the most happiest Zodiac signs on the chart? A lot of people think that Aries and Capricorns are more of the stubborn type of Zodiac signs, but in reality, they're probably one of the happiest friends in the friend group. So this is how I think they act. By the way, this is all exaggerated to be comedic, so yeah. Oh my gosh, hey everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing very well. Oh my gosh, bestie, I missed you. Oh my gosh, you will not believe what happened. So basically my mom died yesterday and it was like so sad. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe she's gone. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh, but yeah, so basically my mom died, yeah. If your mom died, why are you so happy what though? What do you mean? I'm happy because it's a new day and like, it's just like nothing can stop my mood. Not even my mother's death right now. Oh my gosh, so like is anyone sad today? Cause I can't relate right now. <laughs> I literally cannot relate. Oh my gosh, you know you should smile more just like me because you know, I have the most beautiful smile. I'm self-confident, you know. I really love myself. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I go, you go, you go, you got this. Oh my gosh, hey friend, hey, let me hype you up real quick cause that's what I do. I'ma hype you up. You looking fantastic. Your outfit looking so nice. Your hair looking so slick. Your eyes looking so beautiful and bright. 
Today you are looking just amazing. Did I not tell you that you look amazing? You look stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, awesome. Like I cannot wait to hang out with you today because like I got so much stuff to tell you. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe my bestie's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, girl, stop. No, I'll never stop because you are queen as you should, as you should, period, per. You know what? I just love you so much. Like I just cannot wait to give you a hug. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a hug, okay? Oh my gosh, that hug was very nice. That hug was very nice, but I think we can do a little better, okay? Oh my God, stop, stop, bestie, stop. Oh my gosh. I just love everyone here today. Like everyone's outfits look so nice, but my bestie is above all of y'all. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Ah! Stop. You're a ray of sunshine. Ah, uh, yes. Ray of sunshine. Stop. I'm not that happy. I'm not that happy now. Like, stop. No, because we need a friend like you. You make everyone so oh happy. My God, like, stop. That's you make me blush. Like, stop. <laughs> oh this is why I love you. Come on, give me another hug. The next Zodiac science is Pisces and Libra. They're like literally the best friends of the best friends. They will protect you at all costs. They will literally see you get attacked by a bully and they will jump in for you. They will roast them. They'll make them wish that they were never alive. Libras and Pisces, they are there for you. They're ride or die buddies. And that's what I love about them. So yeah, this is how they would basically act. No, because I heard that you were talking about my best friend. So what's going on? Do you want to hit it or do you want to hit it? Because I'm about to hit you and your hands about to roll off. So where are you talking about my best friend? Best friend, is this the one? This this is the one? Boy, I know you're not bullying my best friend looking like that. You looking ugly as heck. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Oh, no, I don't think you wanna fight me. Because, li listen here, because I fight unfair. Ah! Yo, yo, I don't know! Hold me back, best friend, because I'm about to kill you. I'm about to kill you. Get, don't you ever bully my best friend. Yeah, yeah, now you on the floor, looking all sad and stuff. What you gonna do, what you gonna do? You wanna fight? Yeah, I'm out of breath. Yeah, you know what, best friend, he's not, they're not even worth it, they're not even worth it. Look at them, they're on the ground crawling. You see, this is why, this is why you should have me around more often. This is why we're best friends, because I'm the one protecting you. Come on, let's get, let's hug, let's hug. <laughs> Next one we have is Leo and Scorpio. I feel like they're the danger seekers. I feel like they're reckless. They will literally get their friends to do the most dangerous thing in the world. And they'll just be like, yeah, this is very cool. I just, I just love them so much. So this is what I think they would do. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm kind of bored. I'm kind of bored. Y'all, y'all know what we should do? We should probably go to an abandoned house. I mean, I want to talk to some ghosts. I want to know what the afterlife is like. I don't know about y'all, but the afterlife seems kind of cool. I mean, what are the ghosts thinking about? Do they have boyfriends? Do they have girlfriends? Do they even have children? Can they produce children? Or do you think they steal children? We should rob a bank. Y'all, I really think we should rob a bank because I've always wanted to rob a bank. Like, imagine us wearing those cute little ski masks with our cute little black uniforms with our cute little ski boots. I meant combat boots. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> Honestly, I think that we should, I don't know, let out a missile. I think we should start a nuclear war. I mean, that seems like it would be be fun y'all 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 not y'all not vibing with that y'all not vibing with the death life oh my gosh not y'all not rocking with the death life honestly i just want to see a big firework and that's why i want to have like missiles shoot up in the sky okay so the next one we have is aquarius and cancer for short term they are definitely the person that helps you out with like relationship problems even if they're single they somehow know how to freaking give good advice in relationships and stuff plus they also are really good at like basic basically telling you who you should be with. They're like love matchers or whatever. So yeah, that's basically what they do. So here it goes. Nah, nah, I think you should break up with them because if they're not worth your time, they're not worth they're not worth your time, hun. Because if they went for someone else and they're cheating on you, they don't deserve you. How about you date that nice boy, Brandon? They're really nice to you. They're always doing some good stuff for you. They're always writing you little cute notes. They're always being there for you. They're like your best friend, but you just don't see that they like you, hun. You should honestly give them a chance because you're always picking toxic relationships. And I'm sorry if that comes off a little too brutally honest, but I think that you have like 
like some uh, attachment issues when it comes to him. So yeah, so what I'm gonna need you to do is realize that you're the baddest bleep in this world and that you deserve better. Because you, not you getting with this stanky boy, no. Not you dropping down to his level. You are all the way up here, babes, and he's just dragging you down. You really don't need them. Go out with Brandon. They're amazing for you, hon. You can do this. I believe in you. I feel that you deserve better. I know you deserve better because you are you and you're my best friend. And honestly, I'm here for you if you need to talk to me. Like, if you need some advice, always come to me because I will give it to you. But if you don't take my advice, then I'm gonna have to stop it there because I'm giving you some good advice right now. You better soak it up like a flower because that's what you are. A flower, a beautiful flower. The sun is shining down on you. And you know what? He is blocking the sun. He's blocking the inner you. And that's not what you need in your life, hun. You need to get away from that. You need to stray away from that energy. Have you tried crystals? Crystals help. I have all types of crystals that you can use. So basically what I'm saying is dump him. And that's on what? Period. Purr. And the last two is Virgo and Sagittarius. I feel like they just don't come out of the house. They never come outside. And when their friends see them, they are shocked because they just never come out. And I honestly don't blame them because I'm always on my phone. I'm always playing video games. So yeah, yeah, I, I can relate, but I'm also very social. So I think that's the difference between a Virgo and Sagittarius and me. So yeah, um, let's get into it. been i know i've been absent and i know we don't hang out that much but you know i'll be in the house you know i'm kind of like a vampire or whatever i'll be on the internet or whatnot i'll be lurking around you know and i'm sorry i haven't answered any of y'all text messages y'all know the vibes ow purr. but hey i'm ready to hang out i missed you guys and you know what we about to party i know i haven't seen y'all guys in like a year but hey i'm back again back in better y'all miss me i know y'all miss me i know y'all miss me me or whatnot but hey how y'all doing yeah i do be in the house though i know i know i know please stop please stop with the camera stop i'm trying to keep i'm trying to hide my identity i'm a vampire literally stop like i might as well be in a vampire because i always be in my house i should buy a coffin because you know i don't leave my house but hey hey friends how y'all doing hey hey ashley hey roberts hey victoria's secret oh my gosh why did you change your name i saw that on facebook it's so hilarious 